Welcome to the weekly briefing. It is some point in the morning on the 16th of March. The practical assignments have been finalised, they have been marked. They are a complicated release. So this video guide is basically a reminder for the people who submitted practical assignments to get their feedback and all of their feedback. So what we're going to start with is just reminding you that it was an act in three parts. You have the plan, the timeline, the registration template. The registra registration template was out of zero. There is no effective grade for it. What you will see is a binary, it's a one, two, of basically pass fail. If you didn't submit something, there is no file there. If you didn't submit something in the registration template, there's no comment, there's no mark, there's nothing there. Timeline. If you didn't submit a timeline independently of the plan, you may find a blank document, and the blank document is there as a template so that I can use, I can give you a grade, I can give you the voice feedback, and I can use the grading criteria. If you have submitted a composite document of plan plus timeline plus template to the main assignment, the plan assignment here, and you don't have anything in timeline, email me. I'm hoping I've got it right, but at this point I just want to release the documents, release the files and see what happens next. In terms of actually accessing your feedback, this is one of the things that's been the most common uh, problem with Turnitin is that you load up into Turnitin and it comes up either on the grey bar where nothing is selected or it comes up on originality. Now I'd like to point out that these two are in fact the same assignment back to back made anonymous. With the originality on you can't see the feedback. With grade mark on you can see the feedback. And each document has feedback. Very specifically, I went through and put quick mark, these blue box feedback, over every one of the plans. Every plan has that feedback. If you can't see it, you've got the grade mark selected and you can't see it, contact me. Something's gone wrong, we need to fix it. For both plan and timeline. There are voice comments, there is voice feedback on both plan and timeline. Most timelines would not have received quick mark commentary, they would have received the voice feedback, which again it's under general comments if you can't see it or if when you go there there is no timestamp here telling you how many minutes of content and it's up to three minutes so the most anyone will ever have is three minutes. If there's nothing there, contact me. Something's gone wrong. Everyone should have feedback, two rounds, voice feedback on plan and timeline. As I said, if you can't see the feedback, talk to me, email me, get in touch. You have been given feedback on these assignments. Anyone currently on a late assignment submission, yours is going to be trickier. Your assignment's going to be in one Dropbox. Uh, it's going to be in the Turnitin late assignments where you submitted it. But I will endeavour to use, to basically, I will mark it. I will provide you with feedback in one area, but I am going to need to create a template document for you and fill out your marking rubric on the original assignment. And this is for two reasons. One is so you get access to that rubric, so you gain the same benefit as everyone else. And two, until you get to see that rubric, until you get that mark from that assessment task, the rest of the assignment stream is invisible. It's ugly, it's messy, but it's the best we can do. And this is why things being late get, makes things complicated. But it's a problem, and problems meant to be solved. Now, the quick generic f 
feedback will be done in a separate video. This is the how do I access my feedback files? How do I access my feedback? And every one of them should have feedback. If they don't, you need to be in touch with me so we can get that fixed.